All right. Let's uh, go through this workflow or this proposed workflow. I'm going to start by inserting this US Army DXF. I insert it on the XY plane. I'm going to navigate through my file system and find it. Okay. Now we determined from last time that it was pretty small. There's some points in here that are not a curve width across, so we are going to increase the size of this. Select sketch in the menu. I'm going to use the window selection tool. Grab everything here. Use origin as the uh, point we'll expand from. And I'm going to go 1.4, 40% bigger. Now, from here, I want to edit the sketch some more. I want to uh, separate the closed contours, or what should be closed contours, from uh, single line entities. So I'm going to select everything and then I'm going to use the paintbrush tool and I'm going to deselect the lines. So I should have been holding control there like a noob. Let's do that again. Now I'll hold control and erase those lines. Not erase them, but deselect them. This paintbrush uh, selection tool, which is also the hotkey three, is uh, super useful for doing exactly what I'm doing now. Selecting stuff that's in really goofy spots. rectangle tool that would be a nightmare okay now I'll delete and I should just be left with a single line geometry from this it's perfect finish sketch now I'm gonna insert the uh, DXF one more time and this ultimately will be our closed contours or what should be closed contours sketch. In this one we're going to just delete the uh, single line using the delete key and the paintbrush tool. a little finesse with this tool but and we'll get rid of some of those entities here nope let's go back and edit that again Because what we want to do is select everything and make it 40% bigger. And 
everything looks good. Let's go into manufacturing. Let's create a setup for our model. I'm going to use the uh, first sketch. I'm going to put our box point in the bottom left hand corner. For our stock, I'm going to add a little bit of top offset so we actually have some thickness because right now we only have a sketch which is zero thickness. This is a two dimensional thing, so we're going to at least make the stock three dimensional so we can check out the simulation properly. I'm going to go in here and create a new tool path at the 2D cutting profile, select a tool. I have a kind of a generic tool here that has a pretty liberal curve width. Um, I'm going to go in and select the first sketch which contained our single line geometry. I'm going to, I don't really need to change our tolerances or anything because it's just straight lines. But I do need to change our sideways compensation to center and get rid of all of these values here. <clears throat> Hit OK and now it'll generate that. Now we'll start one more. We'll select the second toolpath on the left hand side here in our not toolpath, the sketch on the left hand side of our browser bar. Um, I'm also going to edit that and change side to start inside. Okay. Now I'll move over to passes and I'm going to change my tolerance by one magnitude, reduce it by one magnitude. Or I guess it's increasing it by one magnitude. I don't know. I guess it depends. If you're on that side of zero, it's reducing it by one magnitude. Um, left hand compensation and I'm going to add smoothing as well. I'm going to go in here and just kind of put a generic lead in lead out that's going to generate a path without any issues. Okay. So it's working over here. Okay. It looks like it's got most of this. It didn't like this. Hmm, I'd like it to pick up that. Let's see if I can make it pick it up. Just going to go a little smaller and see if it'll pick up that uh, thing for me. I would probably, if I was going to actually do this, uh, I'd change a little bit to the geometry to suit plasma cutting a little better. Skill bit of it. Yeah, it's just too small. That. But anyways, for the sake of argument, it had already created the tool paths. We were ready to go there. And uh, let's take a look at that cutting. And if we look down here, we can see that it is complete paths. Like it, it, it does a complete cutout on. We'll wait till it goes up to the United because those are the ones that were broken. treating this as a closed contour and uh, this alert right here is for this missing entity here let's go back and just fix that quick or add to this design I guess edit
I'm just going to modify this geometry so it's not, uh, so it'll pick up easier. It's a little small. because it's not a close shape. Remember that to mount. Close enough. Just trying to make this shape a little bit bigger, but the same shape. There. Good. Let's go back to manufacturing and uh, reload that, see if it'll pick it back up. have changed and now something's happened. It seems like I always have issues <laughs> when it's uh when we're doing her live. Okay. Let's just try another toolpath and see if we can pick it up. Shows up a little different, eh? Hmm. Anyways, I'm kind of experimenting right now. We had already created it. The G code was ready. You could have cut that when we did that simulation a few minutes ago. Sometimes there can be some glitchiness with the parametric. Yeah, huh. It doesn't like that new entity I made. Let's go back and see if I can't make it change its mind.
see. If that is enough. Still no way. Too narrow. It shouldn't be too narrow to get in there. Maybe it is. too narrow for it. Here's it trying to get in right here. Let's so it might have been working the first time and I was just uh, trying to fix a problem that wasn't there. Let's see. Weird. This is the one. I must have manipulated this geometry enough now. Yay, that's what it was, it just wasn't big enough. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the simulation. Seems like it's going to work. Perfect. And let's go back in time a little bit here. Oh, let's, I just want to. That's already cut, but let's watch the, uh, slow this down a bit. You can see it's not segmented. It's treating it as a single line, which is great. It's exactly what we want. Or it's as a closed contour instead of an open contour or a bunch of line segments, treating it as one complete path. or anything and relatively easy to select everything all right yeah the United States was the one that was really segmented. Perfect. And now we could just post that G code and cut. Alright, thanks. That's it.